What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Tan. I'm back with another video. So we're going to be doing a recap of Carmen's video. Um, She named it. She titled it, You Make Diddy Look Like an Angel, which is also the title of her song that went number one on R&B charts. Let me tell y'all, I've been watching Carmen since, like, I was in middle school, which is, like, crazy to see all of this, like, you know, happen and take place. But I'm going to go ahead and be real honest, y'all. I respect three things about this video. She said it from her pop. She didn't try to say no names. She went with all the name calling. And also, she took accountability for what she did wrong in the relationship, and she did not make it seem one way. You know, it's always too sad to a story, but I like how she was like, yes, I did this. Yes, I walked out. Like, I did hit him at times. So, I just like how she was honest, you know? But let's get into this recap, because I was emotional watching this video, because, you know, it's crazy that people eventually will show their true colors. Mind you, they was together for a while. So, for this person to show their true colors in the sense of, like, literally abusing her, like, Man, when she was saying what he had did in the gun to her face and her mouth, I'm like, that is crazy. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, I was one of the people when she was like, you know, it was a lot of people like, why'd you go back? Why'd you go back? But, you know, you could tell this was her final. Like, you could tell she's done, especially after what the person did. Um, That, that was real low. Like, he stooped to a different level of low. And I'm like, it like she didn't do anything for you to go to that measure of low. But I'm proud of her for, you know, fixing her crowd, putting it on right. But I definitely was one of those people when she went back. I was like, girl, why did you go back? Like, you were doing so good. You had just got your own place. And for her to sort of, like, make it, you know, it made more sense. Like, you know, I went back. Like, I needed that closure. I needed to... I understand what she said when she was like, I went back. I got the closure I needed that I could do this on my own, that I did not need him. And it was just crazy because she also said, you know... When they did, when they were back together for that short span of time, he was definitely the one po making sure you saw her in, her, like, in his videos and stuff. So, like, you know, he was trying to make it real clear, like, oh, I got her back. But I'm glad that, like, this time really just does feel final, like, she's done. And I said that because that song, like, you hear them lyrics, like, you know, I'm done, okay? But also this video just confirmed it and hearing how she said some of her relationships with her family members, like, with her mom suffered because... She tried to make this person not look like a villain that you are. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's that's the thing, though. Like some, we, some of us are just too nice and we have big hearts and we don't want anyone to like look or have that villain edit. So what you do is you're like, oh, no, it was me. I did this. I did that because I've done that a few times. So I know what she meant when she was like, you know, I gave like I did not want this person to be viewed as this bad person. So, you know, it's sort of the blame. I put the blame on me and I was like, yeah, I, I understood that point of view. It was also a point where it sounded like she had went through depression because she was like, I didn't feel like cleaning. I didn't feel like cooking. I didn't feel like doing this. And that sounded like depression. But for her, it was probably so hard because you're a mother of two sons, right? And then you have this relationship that's not the healthiest. So I could feel, you know, I had that feeling where she was just saying she didn't feel like doing anything. But when they did start creating content, it was like having to make create a fake smile or like, you know, and I was like, dang, like, Carmen, I really feel bad for you because, you know, man, life just be crazy. So to hear it from her point of view and for her to use her platform and speak up, you know what I'm saying? She definitely used her platform in a great way. And also her, um, I think this is closer to the end, though, saying if she does get in a next, you know, in another relationship, she wants to be able to keep that private until she's ready to go public with it. Although she may be a public figure, I do feel like she has the right to privacy. You know what I'm saying? Like, she deserves to be able to not have everyone in her business until she's ready but another part was she had said she had found someone to like love her correctly right but she just wasn't at a point in her life where she could reciprocate that energy or you know probably receive it as well as she should have so i feel like it'll come back around someone that man that loves her correctly loves her kids like their own that is coming for her but right now i just feel like this is her healing chapter and i'm so proud of her because she's not stupid y'all and like i said i was definitely one of the ones like girl why did you go back but hearing her be like, I need that closure, like, I'm done now, and seeing everything he had put her through, like, mind you, I knew some of this stuff, because, like, you know, this has been on social media, it has been said, some of this stuff has been said, so it was some of the stuff that you were just like, yeah, right, like, you know how you see it, like, it was eye-opening, and, but, I mean, she, like she said in the song, you know, trauma bond, you got kids, so you trying to keep your family together. It could be multiple reasons why she decided to stick around as long as she did. But now I'm glad that she's gone Um, out of that. She deserves better. And for the father of her children, who's like, you know, I'm going to get custody. I'm going to take it to court. He has a whole nother child that I barely see him with. Or I haven't been watching his content, so he could very well be with his other son. But I'm just saying, you can't sit here and try to, like, 
step like you know how you put on a face for social media like oh i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this but in reality you know you're not about to do all of that and you don't even have a leg to stand on like come on like come on let's be real and um i just feel like this new season god's really gonna bless her and look over her and i'm so excited to see what she has coming i know she was like i'm done with this chapter i don't want to speak on it no more i feel that i feel like she's just at like a let go let god i'm like she about to blow up like i'm super excited also i do hope her relationship with her mom gets back on the right track you know and what's crazy is it was a point when she was like my mom probably doesn't even know all of this i'm saying now she probably won't know until like this video comes out and that's crazy because it's like dang girl this man really put you through stuff and for us to hear it is woo like me hearing it y'all was it was the point when she was crying i'm like girl i'm sitting here crying with you but yeah better is definitely coming if y'all tune in let me know y'all thoughts on it and um yeah prayers up to her most definitely i just had to get my thoughts out there and you know them toxic relationships you know the, they's the ones that you really be trying to make it work until you realize i had that moment like crying where i was like we won't like ever together we never titled our relationship but we would be off and on off and on right and then it was eventually that time where i was able to like he asked for my number and i was like no you're not getting my it felt so good like i just know the freeing of being able to drop like the video and the song and be like i'm done like this is me saying i'm done i know that feeling of just being free like you know like I'm, the shackles are released i'm so proud of her y'all and i just hope she continues to and continues to surround herself with people that want to see her win and you know it's going to help her out because yeah I, yeah most definitely being a mom being a single mom at that and a constant creator but i know she got it y'all and um i'm out of here this is